Have you ever walked into a room and forgotten why you're there? It's a question that resonates with many of us. This common phenomenon is a tiny glimpse into the enigma of memory loss, a reality that affects a significant portion of the population worldwide. Now before we dive into the deep end, let's clarify one thing. Memory loss is a symptom, not a disease. It's like a cough or a fever, signaling that something might be off within your system. It can come in various forms and intensities, from the benign, age-related forgetfulness to more severe forms like dementia. So what exactly is memory loss? In essence, it's the inability to remember information or events that you once could easily recall. It's that frustrating moment when a name, a date, or a detail slips your mind, leaving you grasping at the thin air of forgetfulness. Now don't be too hard on yourself if you occasionally forget where you put your keys or what you had for breakfast last Tuesday. These instances of forgetfulness are generally a part of normal aging. As we age, physiological changes that can cause glitches in brain functions are common. It's like your brain's hard drive is getting a bit overloaded and the retrieval system isn't as snappy as it used to be. But then, there are more severe forms of memory loss, like dementia, a term used to describe symptoms that impact memory, performance of daily activities and communication abilities. It's like a thick fog that gradually consumes the mind, making it harder and harder to navigate the mental landscape. In between these two ends of the spectrum, there's a whole range of memory loss types that can be caused by various factors. From stress, sleep deprivation, and alcohol consumption, to more severe health issues like strokes, head injuries, and tumors. Understanding memory loss begins with understanding its causes which are as varied as our memories themselves. It's a complex and multifaceted issue, but by shedding light on it we can start to demystify this enigma and help those affected navigate their way through the fog. So what causes memory loss? Now that's a question with a multitude of answers. Memory loss, also known as amnesia, can be triggered by a wide variety of factors, each as diverse as the last. Let's start with physical conditions. Trauma to the brain, such as that resulting from a brain injury or a stroke, can cause memory loss. These incidents disrupt the normal functioning of the brain, causing difficulties in the retrieval or storage of memories. Mental health plays a significant role too. Conditions such as depression or anxiety can lead to memory problems. When the mind is preoccupied with worries or negative thoughts, it can be tough to focus and remember information. Lifestyle factors can't be overlooked either. Lack of sleep, excessive alcohol consumption, and even poor nutrition can impact your memory. You see, our brains need rest and the right nutrients to function optimally. Neglecting these needs can lead to difficulties in remembering things. Now, let's talk about aging. As we grow older, some forgetfulness is natural. The brain's volume gradually shrinks as we age, affecting memory to some extent. But this doesn't mean that severe memory loss is an inevitable part of aging. It's just one of the many factors at play. And of course we can't discuss memory loss without mentioning diseases like Alzheimer's. This degenerative disease damages and kills brain cells, leading to significant memory loss and cognitive decline. The causes of memory loss are vast and complex, intertwining physical health, mental health, lifestyle choices and aging. While some causes are beyond our control, like aging and certain diseases, others are within our reach. By understanding these causes, we can take steps to safeguard our memory and overall brain health. As you can see, memory loss can be the result of many factors, some within our control and some not. How does aging factor into memory loss? It's a question that resonates with many of us, as we watch our parents, grandparents, or even ourselves grapple with the complexities of memory as we age. As we journey through life, our bodies go through a natural process of aging. Just as we get a little slower in our physical movements, our brains also experience a normal cognitive decline. This may present itself as occasionally forgetting where you left your keys, or the name of an acquaintance you haven't seen in a while. It's like finding that your mental filing cabinet is a bit more cluttered than it used to be. However, it's crucial to differentiate this normal cognitive decline from more severe forms of memory loss. It's normal to have moments of forgetfulness as we age, but significant memory loss is not a standard part of aging. While age-related memory loss can be frustrating, it generally doesn't prevent us from living a full and productive life. It doesn't stop us from maintaining our hobbies, our social connections, or our ability to be self-sufficient. On the other hand, severe memory loss, often associated with conditions like Alzheimer's disease or dementia, can significantly impact daily life. These conditions can disrupt a person's ability to work, engage in social activities or even perform simple tasks. So, how do we tell the difference? 
it's all about the impact on daily life. If memory loss is starting to interfere with your everyday activities, it could be a sign of something more severe than normal aging. In such cases, it's always wise to seek professional medical advice. In conclusion, while aging can contribute to some degree of memory loss, it's important to remember that significant memory loss is not a normal part of the aging process. So, if you or a loved one are experiencing memory issues don't just brush it off as getting older, it's always worth checking out. Aging might make us a bit more forgetful, but it doesn't condemn us to significant memory loss. When does memory loss become a cause for concern? The answer to this question can be found in the understanding of two severe conditions, dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Dementia is a broad term that encompasses several conditions, all of which involve cognitive decline severe enough to interfere with daily life. Memory loss is often the most noticeable symptom, but other cognitive functions are affected too. These may include language skills, problem-solving abilities, and even the ability to focus and pay attention. However, it's important to remember that not all memory loss is dementia. Alzheimer's disease, a type of dementia, is the most common cause of progressive memory loss. In Alzheimer's the brain cells degenerate and die, causing a steady decline in memory and mental function. It's a disease that's not only marked by forgetfulness, but also by disorientation, mood and behavior changes, deepening confusion about events, time and place, unfounded suspicions about family, friends, and professional caregivers, more serious memory loss and behavior changes and difficulty speaking, swallowing and walking. These symptoms can be overwhelming, they can transform a person's identity, alter their relationships and demand immense care. But here's the silver lining. Early diagnosis and treatment can make a significant difference. With early detection the individual can begin treatments that could slow the progression of symptoms, allowing for a longer period of high quality of life. They can also plan for their future, making decisions about care, living options, financial and legal matters, while they still have the capacity to do so. Additionally, caregivers can access resources and support early, preparing for the challenges ahead. They can learn strategies to manage behavior changes and other symptoms, reducing stress and improving the quality of care. Understanding dementia and Alzheimer's is a crucial step towards addressing memory loss. It's a journey that demands patience, empathy and resilience. But remember you're not alone. There's a wealth of resources and a community of caregivers ready to help. Dementia and Alzheimer's are severe forms of memory loss, but with early detection and proper care, their impact can be managed. So, what have we learned about memory loss today? We ventured through the labyrinth of memory loss, unmasking its enigma and dissecting its many causes. Memory loss isn't just a simple case of forgetting where you placed your keys, it's a complex issue with a myriad of potential triggers. From lifestyle factors such as stress and sleep deprivation to more complex issues like depression and medication side effects, memory loss can stem from a multitude of sources. We've also delved into the correlation between aging and memory loss. While it's true that our memory might not be as sharp as it was in our youth, it's crucial to understand that severe memory loss is not a standard part of the aging process. It's an indicator that something else might be amiss, and it's important not to brush it off as just another sign of getting older. Our journey also took us into the realm of dementia and Alzheimer's disease, two conditions that can have a profound impact on memory. We explored how these diseases damage the brain, leading to significant memory loss and cognitive decline. Yet it's important to remember that not all memory loss is a sign of these diseases, and early detection can make a world of difference in managing these conditions. If you or a loved one are experiencing significant memory loss, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. It's not a sign of weakness, but an act of strength and self-care. Reach out to a healthcare professional who can guide you through this journey with understanding and expertise. Remember, memory loss is not a definitive part of aging, and help is available. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more informative content. And just before we wrap up, here's a gentle reminder. The content of this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be used as a substitute for professional medical diagnosis, advice, or treatment.